I'm Lucy Brown, I'm from Wigston, lived here for 22 years all my life. I uh, work at Babcock International, it's an engineering company. My name is Rachel, uh, I live in Wigston. I've lived in Wigston for all my life, really. I'm Claire, I'm a teacher, I'm 24 and I was born and bred in Wigston. I lived um, just by the new Sainsbury's, it used to be the Royal Oak Pub. <laughs> As a young person, Wigston, it's, it's not really got much to do. Um, it's more for older people, uh, so I, I don't really, but all my family live in Wigston, so, but I do come here to shop and yeah. buy things, and, but yeah, it's Wigston. I've been away to uni for three years, so, and didn't particularly want to return myself, so it wasn't really somewhere I wanted to stay, I wanted, there's not a lot of opportunities here, so. No, there ain't enough opportunities, really. Not at all. There's more. It, there, there's no. There's not. Not at all. It's, it is really. It's quite odd. I didn't think it was this hard to find a job, but it really is. Coming from from college, when I, I went to a college nearby, it was a, there was a real uncertainty when everybody left because there were some of us going to university, which is what I did to do teacher training. But there was a little bit of what's next after that for quite a lot of my friends. And even those who went to university locally in Leicester, when they finished, there was this lull. And I, I had friends who struggled for two, three years who who worked really hard and they they did do all the right thing, right things, and and they still were in that no man's land of not really knowing what to do next so yeah it was really difficult I was lucky because I went straight into teaching but if you don't have such a step-by-step -step route then it, it's difficult. Uh, I studied geology rocks so um, not a lot here for that kind of thing uh, not even not a lot in the East Midlands either so um, yeah I wanted to travel the world basically but that's not quite happened yet. Yeah I'm looking for a job in Wigston um, it's, it is quite hard I've been looking for since February and it is very hard. Yeah there's there is plenty of people around that have struggled to find jobs even just office jobs I was quite lucky really that um, from my little bit of experience I, I got into an admin role um, a degree helps that so it's just having that basic skill set um, but yeah um, it is hard it's hard to get into the simplest of jobs around yeah I've been applying and I've been going to quite a few interviews but I think it's it might be me it might be it might be just me it might be them I know people that have been frustrated with how, how long it's taken them to get into jobs and stuff and yeah Probably because there's too many people in the world. <laughs> no, uh, there's not enough businesses, is there, really? And there's more and more people coming over and taking jobs. Yeah, it is a real worry because I think that maybe the generation before us, when they were going to college, university or whatever they chose to do, there was this guarantee that you would get a job afterwards. And, and it's a worry as a teacher because you can't make those same promises to young people anymore. And so I think that more things do need to be done to to help young people today, definitely. I think it's great. It's, um, it's a great opportunity for them if they, they, that's the thing they want to pursue. Personally, myself, it's not something that I would, I would look into doing. But um, to get that kind of money just, to, just given to you for, is, yeah, it's brilliant because you don't get that every day, do you? <laughs> I think it's for some people it's the only option but for a lot of people it should be a viable option because if you're maybe in the arts like I've got friends who do photography or something along those lines where that was the only route they went down and yeah it's, it's just something that some people have to do and some people choose to do but it's a good thing. Some, some people might need help doing it. Um, I, 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 I don't know it will be hard but it would be very rewarding because obviously I've I've worked with managers and I've seen what they have to do and, and I think it's quite I think it's quite good actually. I'd I'd love to do it anyway. I think it's fantastic. I think that um, young people have fantastic ideas and they need to be recognised. I think that a lot of the time in our society we just discount young people because they're young. But 
there are jobs now that exist today that didn't exist five years ago. There are things that 14 year olds do on their phones that I can't even understand and I'm only a decade older than them. And so if we listen to young people and, and go with what they're thinking, then I think that we've got better opportunities and yeah, we'll all benefit.